friendos, it is Super Limey back for another build video. Today it is a kind of spooky starter, I guess. It's not super spooky, it's just built with using vampires and using seasons. If you don't have seasons though, don't worry. The only thing I used from seasons was pumpkins. So if you've got vampires, you're good to go on this lot. Uh, this is a new trick I kind of learned. I had to... I was building a home that I will be putting up at some point, and it has it had a layered porch in my mind, and then I had to make that come to fruition, and I watched a YouTube video on how to do it, so now I've been putting it in more builds. I think it really helps elevate the starter home. It gives it something a little more interesting instead of just like a boring pathway, and it's something just to kind of add to a build. It wasn't, it's not very hard to do, so I will link the video that I learned that from in the description. Uh, I'm not sure what the channel was because it was a little while ago that I looked it up, but I think it adds something to the build. Uh, going here for doing some uh, kind of curved roof, little almost barn style. I don't know if it necessarily matches what I, else I was doing for the vampires here, but I've been in this kind of modern craftsman vibe, and this isn't exactly a modern cra a craftsman. I've done three modern craftsmans that I will be having on the channel, but I think I got kind of stuck in that, and when I was building this, I was like, oh no, I can't make it look like all my other builds I'm doing right now. Also, I do use some shuttered windows and... Isn't it just a pain that some of the shutter windows don't have the same swatch? I think I have to go through them a few times here. Uh, and I end up having to settle for one of them. Because the white looked, I felt like awkward. Now that I look at it, it wasn't as bad, but it wasn't what I was going for. The thing that I like about this home is that uh, it's kind of easy to live in. I don't know. I like to make my like homes gameplay friendly because sometimes I find when I make like the bigger mansions, they're not as easy to live in, if that makes sense. Like when you have with Sims, it takes them like a day just to get to the front porch and then your kid's late for school. <laughs> uh, I did use that $50 door. I know I use it in like all of my starter home builds. I probably should use that $90 door. That's the base game door. The reason why I don't, though, is because that extra, you're saving, like, $40 a door. If you have a lot of doors, you end up saving a lot of money that way. It's just, like, a small way to add up money, but I also like the way that door looks, even though it doesn't always fit, but I feel like it blends in here pretty well once I get the wallpaper up. Also, I was using this as an excuse to use vampire wallpaper because I don't get to use it very often. And I feel like it just is a little more fun. I know it's not like the prettiest wallpaper in the world, but I think it does the trick. I do, this home is about 18,000, I believe. So I moved in with two Sims, no problem. There is two bedrooms in here, one with a double, one with a single. If you end up with, you have 18,000, so you'd have extra money to spend. So if you want to do some extra furnishing or whatever, or decoration, that's there for you. I know like some starters I've made like you don't have that extra money and then there's no room to decorate anything else or you know maybe your sims going into a certain profession has a special interest so you don't have money to buy that extra like item you might need. So I sometimes when I do these kind of starter homes I try and make their extra funds in case you know your sim wants to be a painter and you don't have an easel kind of thing. The living room's a little tight. I didn't think it was that big of a deal though. Um, it just has like a small TV, yeah. Uh, I figured it, you're not gonna need this big, huge living room area. And then I was like, ooh, this is a good place for the desk. But then I was like, oh, am I jamming too much in one small area? And then I'm like, I can get a bookshelf in this way. Kind of fill it out a bit better. I do uh, end up making the master bedroom. And when I do that, I end up putting a ton of curtains. Uh, I thought it was like, ooh, they're vampires, so they won't want any sunlight in their room. <laughs> so it's got like curtains everywhere. Either way, uh, what did you guys all do on the weekend? In Canada, it was Canadian Thanksgiving. I ended up going to my sister's house. 
we've been my sister and I've been isolating like we don't go out anywhere so for COVID it just felt like we would be okay because we don't go outside of uh pretty much the house so we've been we were able to hang out together my sister has three kids so I had lots of fun I was getting dogpiled by three small children and it was a little bit chaotic there was lots of potatoes everywhere uh they were throwing them and going through a kind of <laughs> fun spree so there's nothing quite as funny as babies eating whipped cream I have to say uh <laughs> if you have a baby feeding them whipped cream is really funny oh I'm making this I was making this whole room upstairs like have the cracks and everything in the wall because I thought it would be kind of fun for it to be like Oh, we put the kid up in the attic, so I, I wanted it to be creaky and have some kind of personality to it. I felt like it needed something. I was figuring out what to do with the tapestry. That bed is hard to match certain things to. Like, there's some base game objects like that carpet that match it perfectly. But a lot of pictures and stuff kind of clash with it. And I didn't want to make anything super bright colored. I feel like it wouldn't have suited, like, a fall spooky vibe. So I was just kind of messing with it. Jeez, I have such a hard time picking out different rugs. <laughs> if you can't tell, I was struggling there for a while to pick out one. It was just, oh gosh. I wish there was a better way to sort the rugs, like by size or something. Like, just a more detailed kind of split up on that. Because it just drives me crazy sometimes. I don't know if it does that with anyone else. It's the same thing with curtains. Like, I wish you could pick sort curtain by size. Like, Different size curtains would be fantastic. Like, you can search the large curtains this instead of, like, clicking through a million things in the catalog. Because when I edit these videos, I find a lot of the time it's... I have to cut out, like, large sections of me looking for one specific item. Also, if you noticed, I did switch to Mewcrest to build just because the lighting is so much better than Forgotten Hollow. I do put it back in Forgotten Hollow afterwards. I just wanted nice lighting for like the build it's also like less painful to watch i find when you build in this kind of area i'm using lots of debug objects i know i mentioned it in the past video but twisted maxi's built better build by is a great mod if you're looking for one i find it makes a huge difference in being able to sort debug because a debug is a mess and the fact that there's some sort of organization here is awesome a life saving thing if you're a builder uh, I know the terrain paint looks kind of harsh here, but when you switch to Forgotten Hollow, when this terrain paints on the Forgotten Hollow grass, because it is that darker color, uh, it does look more blended in with the ground, because I will show you screenshots at the end of it anyway. But yeah, uh, is anyone does anyone really watch screenshots? I've been wondering. Like, I usually watch them at the end of videos, or like I'll let them run in the background when I'm like cleaning or something. But is that something like people are super excited to see at the end of a video? I don't know. I feel like I'm talking to myself most of the time. <laughs> I feel like they're... I, I put them in anyway because I figure it's the end of the video. So if people don't want to watch them, they'll just leave either way. Um, I just make a cute little backyard here. Nothing too crazy. I use terrain paint for stone because it saves you money. <laughs> I... I ended up using bushes back here that, and not these ones, I switched them out. They're, I feel like they're a little too green. I don't know. I hope, I think they'll change them. I think those ones change with the seasons though, unless I use the debug ones. I don't know. I, I regret those bushes and I probably shouldn't have put those, I put, should have put in the less bright green ones, but either way, we'll see. I put in a, oh, this, I love putting that umbrella table. I'm, I swear it's in all of my builds now. <laughs> So the reason why this was all vampires and then I ended up using a little bit of seasons because I felt like the porch needed something. So this is where you see me start putting in pumpkins everywhere. So like I said, you don't have seasons, then all you won't have in this build is pumpkins, which is not the end of the world. Um, but I think it looks super cute. It's a fun little starter. Like I said, you'll have extra funds if you want to add extra decorations or scale building items. It'll be a... Uh, cute little vampire home if you want. I assume if you have vampires, I don't know. I, I've been using vampires a little bit now and it's been lots of fun for me. Either way, hope you have a good day and screenshots.